If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a pretty big evolution to take a look at. Uh, some of the players that released today I don't think are going to be like super interesting for people, so we're just not really going to check them out, right? But uh, today we have a new evolution. Uh, it's called the Golasso Show. So it's basically like EA's way of telling you like, hey, you kind of have to upgrade these cards to kind of make them fit the meta of the game a little bit more, right? And it kind of makes sense for some of the upgrades that they've actually given these cards, even though they're very minimal, the chemistry styles that you would end up choosing to give them it just makes them significantly better because of those small improvements, right? So we have a player, uh, for example, here with Ashley Cole. Uh, it's a free evolution, so you can pretty much choose any of the cards here, right? So there's going to be a lot of different options you could potentially go with, which is going to be really cool, right? So the pace improvements or the uh, stat improvements, excuse me, is a plus one for pace, a plus one for shooting and a plus one for physical. Uh, we also have one for plus one pace, shooting, and physical again. And then we also have that yet again as well. So a lot of these cards, right, when it comes to these specific improvements, it might be more ideal to actually go in the attacker route if some of those actually fit, to be honest. Like, it, it might be, right? Um, I will say, though, that when it comes to fullbacks, giving them physical capabilities and a little bit of extra pace is definitely a plus, right? Because with a card like Ashley Cole, right, he's a pretty good example because from the card before, you'd probably have to provide him with a shadow chemistry style, right? You want his pace to be as high as possible as well as his defense but because, you know, pace is very, very relevant to improve. But with this new version, right, you can basically do this right so you go to the evolution this is the difference of the card so it's a plus three in pace a plus three in physical which adds a lot to it right it actually makes them a very viable option this card's probably going to go up in price to be honest 93k up in price because look the difference now is that instead of giving him a shadow because that wouldn't really make much sense now you can go in the direction of giving him an anchor because he would be working with 99 acceleration, 98 for sprint speed, way better defensive stats, and then you also give him the physical stats as well. So as a left back, this is a very solid option, right? If you ended up packing this card um, and he's chilling your club, it is a very solid evolution choice to go with because I'll tell you guys this right now, that working with Jockey Plus and Whipped Pass Plus is incredible, okay? So play styles wise, he has very good play styles there. He also has intercept, he also has block, he has passing ones, he's got technical, he's got Trivella, a lot of really cool stuff to work with, right? So if you went down this route with Ashley Cole, it would not be a bad option whatsoever, right? Uh, this IE is another card that um, you can apparently put into the evolutions as well. Um, I think with cards like this, it does add to it because it is a plus three, right? So the plus three on the card for pace as well as physical would put him in an area that, you know, if you gave him an anchor chemistry style, Yet again, the pace is in a significantly better area for someone who is a mostly lengthy player with a four star weak foot, right? So this card has more potential than what you were working with before, because on the card before, you'd probably have to give him like a shadow. I'm going to be honest with you guys, the physical is already kind of in a good spot. I'd probably still give him a shadow chemistry style, right? Because pace is very, very relevant in this game. I think increasing it to be as high as possible is very important. But maximizing his defense while already working with some pretty good physical is pretty solid. The main thing would be the jumping at an 89. But he does have an aerial to kind of compensate for it as well, right? Because this game is a very R-Trigger Merchant heavy game, right? Like you kind of need that pace in those defensive positions to kind of um, outmuscle certain players, right? That's why Akanji is such a beast, right? Because he's very, very fast. And this IE looks like he could be very nice too, right? He's got block plus, anticipate plus, no intercept, but he's got bruiser, slide tackle, paint pass, power header. Power header with aerial is actually pretty nice too. So that's not bad to work with whatsoever as well. So he's going to go up in price 232k uh, because of those improvements as well, right? Because again, key thing, is actually the pace and the physical. Initially, I was looking at the attackers because of those specific stats, but it actually makes more sense to do this because the physical and the pace, it's almost like doing the evolution for Marquez. You guys know Marquez, the SBC card, right? And, and the how, honestly, looking 
on the card. Now, the evolution was the most obvious because they never released another one afterwards. I think it was Marquez and probably Crouch that were like the best options for that evolution, but Marquez turned into a significantly better player because of the stat improvements that they gave him in the physical department and stuff, right? Which obviously helps him out a lot. Essien, we did the review for this card for, uh, for Essien, and now he gets a significantly better version as well. So he sets, that's the thing about these evolutions, right? Like it, it's kind of telling you like, hey, the card wasn't really that good at this point, but now you can make him better because it does make them better, right? It puts them in a specific spot where you can work more towards the meta of the game, right? So with this card, you can now go in any direction, right? You can give him an anchor chemistry style to increase his physical defense and uh, pace capabilities, or if you feel like you still really want to work with higher pace, you can still give him that shadow chemistry style to make sure that his pace is perfect while working with better defensive stats and physical stats that are still in a good area, right? Because uh, with Essien, we did do his SBC review during that time period. And uh, the card was pretty decent. It wasn't like, honestly, like as I was using it, I'm like, this card is not like 834K. Like this is a card that you're getting for 834K because they're just draining your fodder before team of the season for the most part, right? But now adding that extra pace, adding that extra physical, it definitely adds to the card a lot because from the card before, guys, um, this is how it was set up, right? So it would have 8987, right? You would give him the shadow chemistry style. I'm not going to even lie to you guys, right? I'm being dead serious when I say this. I still felt like I wanted more pace on the card, right? So because it's just the way this game kind of plays out. So I feel like it would definitely be a plus for him. Um, I think the stat improvements in those areas would be really cool. Because um, another thing that you can actually do from the evolution version because of those small stat improvements is that you can still go in the direction of giving him an engine, right? Like, let's say you use him as the attacking oriented center mid. His defensive stats are still in a solid spot. His physical stats are higher. Like, you could still do that if you really wanted to, right? If you wanted to make him more responsive, right? I think Ashley Cole is looking like a very good option so far. Uh, Nemanja Vidic uh, from the uh, downgraded version, right? So not the higher rated version. The higher rated version uh, went down 59k because people thought like, oh, maybe he's going to be put into the evolution or whatever, right? But it's the downgraded version that you can put into it. I think this would be a little bit more of a waste, but he could still be really solid in game to be fair because he does have very good play styles, right? Uh, aerial plus, slide tackle plus, power header, jockey, block, bruiser, acrobatic, while working with fantastic physical stats, pace at an 88 to 93 with better defensive capabilities too. So with Vidic, I mean, honestly, like for me guys, I'm gonna be completely real with you. Like, if I knew that a better version of him existed like this, I wouldn't even bother to go for the other one, right? I think with these other cards, it just makes more sense because they are the best versions of their cards. So if you're going to be improving anybody for a very good majority of time, like, they're the ones that kind of just make the most sense, right? So I think Ashley Cole is looking like probably the top choice so far, I would say, potentially. I think he's definitely looking like the top choice. Uh, we got Soul Campbell who actually gets uh, an evolution as well, which definitely adds to the card too. I have not tried out uh, Soul Campbell yet. I don't know what he's like. Um, Shadow Chemistry saw on the card, puts him at a 94 for acceleration, 99 for sprint speed. It's kind of crazy how even EA understands that some of these cards need to be put into it. You, you need full meta to be able to play the game properly now. So these improvements are super, super necessary, honestly, at this point in the game. It really is, right? Um, medium high work rates, bruiser plus, aerial plus, power header block, intercept, and slide tackle. A lot of potential to work with with this card, right? Because his physical stats also in the 90s area as well, putting him in a very, very good spot, right? Pace is there, defensive stats are there. It's definitely looking pretty solid um, as well. We got Shabby Alonso, I believe, from the downgraded version as well. Uh, this card was a gameplay objective, right? So with the gameplay objective version of him, you can now Evo him to make him a little bit better. But in comparison to the other version, again, for me on a personal level, I would not waste the evolution for a downgraded version of the car to an upgraded version because I would just try to my best at some points to get the upgraded version because this evolution, you can unlock it within 20 days, but then it expires in 27 days, right? So, you know. And it's kind of how the game works. The game is very like first owner based nowadays for you to get specific cards and for you to feel comfortable when you get them. It just kind of has to be that way, right? It's a good thing I didn't do the reviews for the Golasso cards because look at the cards that uh, they're releasing now, right? So you got Vidic. Again, you can't really Evo this one, right? You even have these players like this, like Lineker, who um, usually these cards are not like 
crazy meta, right? But for people that obviously are building some sort of like concept squad and they have them as a first owner, um, you can improve this variation, right? So with this card, you would obviously improve him to be at this point now, right? Uh, the stat increase on this card does make him significantly more usable, right? In all fairness. So five foot 10, high low work rates, dribbling stats in the 90s area um with pace obviously improved passing on the card better and is in a better area good shooting so the usability of the card um is significantly better if you went down this path right because obviously with the other versions they're not going to be as crazy um there is this version that went up 8.3k for people that are working with uh that sort of concept as well right um let's see what else we have here uh Essien, Campbell, Lineker. No, Xavi Alonso will not be. The cards that are like like actually already meta, they won't they won't improve. Like even Van Persie's card is already in a decent area. They won't improve that. Uh Prinz, obviously, it'll be the downgraded version that you can improve, but again, I would not do this on a personal level. It doesn't really make sense to do that. All right, so let's see who else we have here. So vintage from the 91. Yeah, so the rest of it is more so the downgraded versions of this card. See, what I'm curious about, right, is like, okay, so if you were if you were to go to Van Persie, right, so you unlock the gameplay objective, Golasso Icon, right, you put him into an evolution, you give this card the engine. Yeah, it's uh, this card. I wouldn't. I still wouldn't use this card. No chance. Compare it to the 91. No, no, no. The 91. The the improvements are, and for the price range too. Like it does. It doesn't make sense, right? Uh, again, Vidic 81 or a 91, excuse me, from the base player. Again, I wouldn't go down that route. Any of the base cards, I definitely wouldn't do, right? So the top choices, honestly, for this one, it's like even Soul Campbell would be a decent choice, right? Let me see. Soul Campbell. Yeah, 102k up. So the best, the top four options for this is, in my opinion, is, yeah, SC and Desai. People are choosing this Vidic as well, eh? I mean, technically speaking, you know, it's, it's not, it's not a bad decision. It's, it's really not, it's not a bad decision. Because Aerial plus Slide Tackle plus Power Header, Jockey, Block, Bruiser, Acrobatic, like the card's still in a good area. Good physical, pace is in a good area. He's a lengthy player as well, Shadow. I'm not completely uh, pl completely against this, to be honest. I'm not completely against that. If people went down that route. But I, I, he wouldn't be in like my top three choices, I don't think. But eh, I could still see... Vidic is usually that guy that has like special sauce in the game. I haven't tried him out this year uh, from the Golasso, so I have no idea. But... Yeah, SCN as an SBC, people will be looking to improve that, especially if they completed it. So, you know, people will definitely improve that card if they have the chance to. This eye is not a bad choice either. I think Ashley Cole, if you're working with specific links in your team, is definitely a card that has a lot of potential too, because four star, four star, high, high work rates, and really, really, really well rounded pace, physical, and defense when you give him the anchor. Right. So that that's definitely a very, very solid option, too. But yeah, this is a cool evolution, to be honest. Right. I think um, definitely very solid stuff here. At least if I were to review cards like Drugba and stuff, um, they would still be OK to review. <laughs> right. That's the that's the important thing here, because they didn't do any like crazy improvements to the cards like that. So, uh, yeah, maybe one of these days I me mean, on the Wednesday or something, if we're um, if we're feeling it, then we'll uh, we'll do the. Uh, We'll do all that stuff, okay? We'll do all that stuff. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.